middle of my COVID experience, uh, a package arrived in here um, from Liam Salmon, indeed, from McCanton Nutrition, and they're based in Banlaslow. But Liam joins me on the line today. Liam, good morning to you. Uh, very good morning to you, Keith. How thanks you for doing? joining us, and thanks for your gift, by the way, uh, well, of nutrition. Welcome. I hope you're, you, you recovered very quickly. I after did. I did, I did. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm there, actually. I'm there, I'm there, thereabouts. Um, talk to me a little bit about Macanta Nutrition because you're based in Ballin and Slow and you're bringing an awful lot of nutrition to the market. Yeah, I suppose um, to explain to your listeners the, the word Macanta, the father and the air makes it sound a bit posh, but it comes from the Irish for honest. And um, I suppose it's it's in that where, where we... Uh, strive to manufacture our products with integrity, using the best ingredients, um, best in class, and um, I think that's what our customers like. And we created this brand in in Banlaslow, and we have a manufacturing facility now in Banlaslow. Uh, we have a phenomenal team of people around us. Uh, we've gone from just two of us in the beginning, there's eight of us now. And um, I suppose, you know, um, health stores would be our uh, biggest part of our market and uh, around the country. And I would believe that health stores in, you know, if you were to look at just Galway County from Ballygar to Barna, Banlaslow, Lagre, Adenray, Gort, Toome, Kinvara, in all of these towns and in Galway City itself, itself, health stores provide a vital resource to the community, to the customers, advice on things. And I think in particular during covid they were a resource that were available to people who needed maybe to look at how to support their immune system and that. And obviously that had a, a positive effect on our business and the demand for our products and studies on vitamin D and the importance of vitamin D certainly, um, you know, helped grow the business. But it's it's vital too for, for the retailers and uh, in all of the various towns that uh, people support them. Uh, as well, you know. And, and Ballin is slow. I mean, it's a, we'll be talking to Colin Croffy in a moment for a few minutes as well, but Ballin is slow is, is, is a real happening place, so it is. But to, to settle there, because your distribution hub going out of there, you can be in Dublin in an hour and a half. You can yeah. be anywhere else. So it, it does, it, we always said Ballin is slow made great sense, but you've done it. You've brought Macanta there. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a local guy. I'm from Kiltormer. Um, so... It wasn't. Uh, it was a no-brainer for me to set up on Banlas Low. There's a phenomenal uh, resource in people in, in the town and outside the town and in the area. Uh, it has been hit. You know, everybody knows over the last you know 30 years ago, Banlas Low was a huge hub of activity, and it has been hit over the years. And I think with Aptar, you know, the back end of last year going, certainly that was bad news for the town. But in fairness to the you know the local people working on the ground here, the Banlas Low Area Community Development Group. You know, they've, they've got Chanel, as you probably, uh, everyone knows from yesterday, are, are moving in. So the town is on the up, and there's no reason why Banlas Law can't be successful. Um, there's a huge development going on inside in the town. Um, the streets have been improved. Uh, retail is back open. And, you know, I think really what, what the town needs now is all of the people in the locality to, you know, come back into town and, and support support the local business. But uh, certainly Banlas Law is on the up. There's no doubt about that. Stay with me if you don't mind, Macanta. I love the logo, by the way. I just love it. It's just absolutely <laughs> stunning. I mean, it's it just jumps off the page, and um, it just it just just jumps off the page. Stay with me one second there if you don't mind. On a stay in balance, so Colm Crawford joins me uh, on the line as well. Colm, good morning to you. Thanks, Steve, for joining us uh, today. You're the editor morning, of Balance Low Life. I mean, another great success story with uh, Liam Salmon there with Macanta. Uh, Chanel, Chanel yesterday, sorry, 60 job, new tennis courts. And uh, there's a lot going on in Ballinasloe, all positive, I have to say. Yes, uh, yesterday was a, was a pinch me quick day for most of us in town. Uh, it's great to be on the receiving end of any new jobs announcement. And uh, it's great that the old after facilities and, and uh, building will now be utilised as part of Chanel's expansion and continued development as a leading exporting company for, for, the, for the East Galway area. But the good, the good news about our, that column is that, I mean, the likes of Chanel have been around, Michael Burke and his team have been around for so long. 85. Yeah. yeah. Would you know that once they go into Banlaslow, they're there for life? Correct. It's not the same as perhaps having other FDI for development uh, no. investments sourced. And that's very reassuring for, for, for all of us involved in, in community development and in enterprise. Um, our magazine, Balance of Life, edition 62, as you rightly pointed out, is hitting the streets in a couple of uh, hours' time. 
and it's packed with lots of uh, positive good news stories. Um, we were long known as a, as a medical training town and we had nurses, uh, colleges here, but very few people are realising that we have nearly a thousand paramedical ambulance officers trained right. in 11 years of having the National Paramedic um, Ambulance Service, Service College here. So yeah. we have a huge feature on that. And Ivan O'Reilly, who is the senior trainer out there and all his team, there's a graduating class in July, which is the 11th summer graduating class. So that's quite significant. We have a feature on all the new building work that has been completed and is underway at the Porciuncula University Hospital, which is phenomenal. And um, it's going to, again, further underpin the development of that critical piece of uh, local infrastructure. There's an, a little report on uh, our progress that we're making on Sustainable Energy, energy Town. Uh, we've just received from uh, Sustainable Energy Ireland of 15,000 grand to proceed with that project and the feasibility of turning our town into a more green and fundamentally friendly town and Anita Killeen and the town team have been very instrumental in that. As we know, Monday's the day for outdoor dining and we have a little piece on all the uh, restaurants, cafes and facilities that are going to attempt to service uh, in, in hopefully what won't be too much inclement weather and we also have great news for Una Kelly and her team at the library because we are designated one of only two of the new European information points, the European Documentation centres in, in Ireland. There were seven in total redesignated and two in the West and we managed to get one of those. Um, so it's all... You mentioned already... It's, sorry, it's, it's, no, it's, no, it's all... Yeah, it's, it's, it's all positive and I'm, I'm looking at it and I know what you're doing with the Workhouse Girls and all of that. Uh, it's all it's all very positive but I mean when you see the likes of Macanta and Liam Salmon, you see the likes of Chanel... I mean, these are these are the burners that you need for others to say, oh, oh, hold on a second, maybe we should look at Ballinasloe. Absolutely. We have a little piece on the Hide the Health store that Liam is de- developing as well on Dunn Street. And it, there's no doubt about it that when it, when it comes good, it's, it's encouraging for all of us who are involved, whether it's culture, community, sports, uh, leisure, uh, lifestyle, uh, retirement. You know, there's a raft of clubs and societies who all okay. are putting their shoulder to the wheel. And, and these good news... The, the stories don't morph out of the ether. There's no. a lot of there's a lot of a lot, lot, a lot of blood sweat and tears going on behind it. Of public representatives, officials, and community activists who have worked long and toiled hard to make these uh, projects a reality. And I suppose we're looking forward to more of them. And now that we we seem to be turning a corner, um, as you'll be aware, the um, a lot of the ladders are out in front of the, the doors and facades of our premises on the three main streets of town. And the painting scheme that uh, Galway County Council is supporting is underway. Good. And that will hopefully give the final sort of uh, sprucing up uh, of, of our town environs, which which would be much uh, lauded and okay. welcome as well. We, we did something very interesting this, this time around as well. We had through our town team uh, for most of the last lockdown, as many people are going around their 5K and 2K loops, a little photography uh, competition. And we have the best top five of the entries in that is featured. And hopefully locals will vote for their favourite photo of the town okay. in the spring season uh, right. on Instagram. Okay, Colin, thanks indeed for joining us. Uh, coming back to you, Liam, on this one. We're going to get further details on the Macanta. Uh, well, just just uh, to give a shout out there, and Colin said that there's a new health store open in Dunlow Street in Banaslow. It's height of health. But also, today we've sent out free D3, vitamin D3 samples to every health store in Galway. As we mentioned, all of the towns in Galway have health stores, and Galway has a quite a number of them as well. So if customers want to go into any of the uh, health stores around the county, they can get free Macanta D3 over the next few days. Uh, as I said, we're available in all health stores and we're also available on... Free, free, D, free D3? So, free D3, yes, Keith. It's very important. And I know we're in the summer and the sunshine, but um, <laughs> we haven't had a huge amount of it yet this year. Okay. But uh, so, as the autumn comes back in, it's very important that people, you know, they take the supplement with D3 uh, just to boost that immunity. I know. So you're saying if they, go in, if they go into the various health stores right across Galway City County and elsewhere, or so just in Galway or other, if they go in and say, Liam Salmon said on the radio that I can have some free Macanta vitamin D3, it's okay, yeah. is it? You'll pick we up the tab on that, will you? Yeah. Now, there's a limit, limited uh, amount, Keith. You're like Michael uh, O'Leary yeah, coming absolutely. back from Ascot, so you were... Yesterday, so they had them today. Okay. You're like Michael O'Leary coming back from Cheltenham buying a drink for everyone on the plane. <laughs> 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 so just uh, health health store operators, just send the invoice back to Liam. Liam, keep up the good work and thanks for joining us uh, today. So free Appreciate vitamin it, D3 uh, today from Macanta. If there's any confusion, ring Liam on 087... No, I'm joking. Uh, Macanta, M-A-C-A-N-T-A, Nutrition is the name of it. And a lovely success story for Ballinasloe. And don't forget as well that uh, Ballinasloe Life is out in a couple of hours' time. Quick commercial break. We're back with Sport next.